everyone, Victoria here from Trains in the Valley. Today I got a collection from our buddy John. He is downsizing his trains. He does HO scale and he just gave us some stuff to get rid of for him. So this is going to be a short video and I'm going to show you John's collection. Okay, I do have some items that I didn't even see yet, but here to start, we got a bunch of Reading Company uh, passenger cars, IHC brand. Those six are in the box. These two are without the box, but they're the same um, cars from IHC. And then we got a Reading Lines weathered passenger car. We got these three boxed freight cars, Lehigh Valley, New York Central, and Cracker Jack. And this is actually a snowplow, which is pretty cool. All right, we got another Redding Company weathered passenger car. We got three cabooses. Lehigh, New England, those two are. We got two really great condition auto carriers, I guess they're called. We got a Penn Central and a ATSF. The cars are included in them. They are in stellar condition, like gorgeous condition. Um, Reading Caboose, a weathered Union Pacific boxcar, Reading Hopper. We got another weathered Union Pacific. Did I mention this guy weathers stuff? So it's in, like, it's beautiful weathering. We got more weathered items, Erie Lackawanna, Penn Central, plastics, shell, and then we got four Pennsylvania passenger cars. More weathered items here. And then some more cabooses. All right, we got a bunch of hoppers. Um, this guy, John, he literally got coal off the anthracite region here in Pennsylvania and put it in a bunch of these hoppers. So this is legit coal. And he also weathered them. So we got a variety of reddings. And then there's some that are so weathered that you can, can't can really see what they... I think that says Dixie Line under it. But they're in really good condition. And like I said, like real cold. Like, and most of it don't fall off. Like it's, it's on really good. So we got a bunch of different hoppers. Like I said, some of them you can see what it says and then others you can't. And then there are a few that don't have any coal in them, but they are weathered. Like that's Redding, 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 Redding. That one I don't think says anything, but these are like really awesome. Like let me show you the, the detail of the coal again. Like beautiful. We got a small tray of tank cars. They are in very good condition. Like I said, this guy, John, he took care of everything. We got a couple. We got one of these auto loader tra trailer trains and then some cars that I believe go with it. All right, these three boxes are absolutely unknown to me. I don't know what's in them. So let's start with these little guys. I know that he was talking about maybe having some used locomotives possibly in one of these. So let's check it out. We got PRR. That says dummy on it, so I'm going to assume it's heavier. So I'm assuming that there might be a possibly a working unit with it. This is very heavy. That also says dummy on it, but let's see. Ooh, a very nice Pennsylvania caboose. And another Pennsylvania caboose. These blue ones are just beautiful. If I can get it to focus for you guys. There it is. Okay, so let me crack these boxes open and see what's inside them. All right, we got three weathered locomotives. Um, I'm not, we didn't test these yet. Like I said, I'm going in blind with these, but this is beautiful. And then another one, that one's weathered. And this one, I believe this is a dummy. It looks like there's some pieces down there. But not positive. Corey and I will have to check these out. But yeah, Pennsylvania weathered. They, they look great. We got a Pennsylvania Loco. Let's see. That is, it's very heavy. Looks like it has some custom work to it. And it's a Mantua. Let me put this down and flip it over so you guys see the other side. 
Yeah, that's that's really nice. All right, put that guy down. Looks like we got another Pennsylvania here. And it is also weathered. All right, let me see what the last one is. And it's another Pennsylvania. Another heavier car. Might be a dummy, I'm not positive, but like I said, Corey and I will dig into all these and see what's running, what is a dummy, what isn't, but the weathering looks awesome. All right, the last box. This is totally no clue. I have absolutely zero clue what's in here. It's not very heavy, so I'm guessing buildings. As we can see here, it does look like there are some buildings possibly in here. So let's check it out. I'm seeing a bag of parts, some instructions, okay. Okay, this looks like maybe some custom stuff. Really cool buildings. Surveyor. That's in really nice shape, okay. That looks like maybe, I actually don't know what this is, but in really nice shape, all of this stuff appears to be in very good condition because John took care of his stuff. We got signal, so that's cool. A yard office, that is so cool. And it's like really custom, I love this. He really hooked us up with the buildings, didn't he, John? Let's see here the other side of this. Oh, wow. Neat. I'm running out of space. I gotta move my box over a little bit here. There's something inside this one. Are these two different buildings? Yes. Here. Very gently, I'll put that down. Oh, that's cool. And then we have another one. This was definitely custom. Like, I can tell. Wow. Neato. And then... Tower. He must have customized, like, everything on his layout. That's cool. There is real cool in this. I can tell you that. He must have found this on the anthracite around here in Pennsylvania. Wow. Very cool. Another tower. Looks like it's missing the top, but if I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's down there somewhere. And here's a piece of something. Yeah, we got a lot of buildings. <laughs> Let's see, what's next? This guy. Yeah, he just customized everything here. He really put a lot in here. I told John, one box. He really uh, loaded it up. All right, had to make more space so we could look at this stuff. Okay, what do we got? Another building. Let's take a look at this. Pretty cool work on it. This flapper put down. What we got here? That's neat. Some custom work for sure. This guy really knows how to custom stuff. Another one of these, but it's not coal in it this time. I'm not sure. Is that sand? Cement? Pretty cool. This one's heavy. Oh, that's a metal bottom. Well, that's cool. It's a ramp. I like the ladder. If I can get this one out yet, I better wait to pull the rest out. 
a little house. Here's the top for that tower, as I suspected. Goes right there. <laughs> and then got this little guy here. More custom work. Oh, looks like we got a little roof or sidewalk or something here. And that's cool. Whoa, what is this thing? What? Let's put this down and check this out. He definitely did something custom with this guy. I'm not totally sure. There's like a ladder. That is interesting. That's cool. I'm guessing a depot of some kind here. And let's see if I can... Oh, two of these things. Well, those are really, really cool. Beautiful. And another one. And then what is this thing? Some sort of bridge, maybe? Cool. All right, that's everything that was in John's collection. Like I said, he's gonna, he's just downsizing and he just wants to give us little batches of stuff to go through and um, give him offers on. So this is part one of John's collection. So uh, stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys later. Bye.